Hello, and welcome to a JWorks production of Twilight Zone's Living Doll, starring Noel Elon Ashcraft, Taylor Ann, Jay Accent, and featuring Dana Arabella Gwynn as Talky Tina. You have unlocked this door with the key to imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. I want you to run upstairs with your present. Can't Daddy see it? Not right away. Okay, Mommy. Hi. Hi, Daddy. What'd you buy? Nothing much. Christy, go on upstairs. Wait a minute. Christy, what have you got there? It's just a doll, Eric. She doesn't need another doll. She's had her eye on it for months. I thought we agreed. Honey... Show Daddy your doll. She's alive, and her name is Talkie Tina. For heaven's sakes, Annabelle. A doll like that would cost... I put it on the account. You wind her up, her arms and head move, she can talk, and I just love her already. My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. All right, how much did it cost? I told you. I know you charged it, but how much did it cost? Eric... That's enough. It's a simple question, Annabelle. Stop pussyfooting around it and just answer the question. How much did it cost? Eric, I don't think it's the price of the doll that's upsetting you. Now get more of that asinine Freudian gibberish you've been getting from Dr. What's it his It isn't name? Dr. Lubin's fault. Don't bring him in. My name is Dr. Tina, and I love Will you shut that much? thing off? What? Don't look at me like that, Annabelle. Well, Christy left her new pal down here on the couch all alone. Shows how much she cares for this thing. Let me see if you're worth the price. <laughs> I'll just wind this up here like so. My name is Taki Tina, and I don't think I like you. Taki Tina, a doll that does everything. A lifelike creation of plastic and springs and painted smile. To Eric Streeter, she is a most unwelcome addition to the household. But without her, you never enter the Twilight Zone. What? My name is Taki Tina, and I think I can even hate you. Why did you throw her, Eric? I don't like what it says. It has quite the vocabulary. Here, My name listen. Is very much. Yeah, well, that's not what it said a minute ago. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's your problem? I know you're having a difficult time adjusting to her, but I can't let you treat Christy that way. She's my daughter, Eric. I love her. But I don't love her. I'm only her stepfather, and I'm incapable of loving children because we can't have any of our own. That's what you're trying to say. I didn't say that. You could love Christy. I know you could if you give yourself half a chance. Good. I'm glad I'm not the cold, cruel ogre that mommy and daughter think I am. Eric, please give us a chance. Christy and me. I know you got more than you bargained for when you married me. Two for the price of one. Come on. You two aren't property. And I did marry you two because I loved you. Now stop using my feelings as a doormat like I'm some cold, 
unfeeling monster. Daddy, I'm sorry. Did I make you mad? Come here, sweetheart. Give me a hug. It's all right, Christy. It's all Daddy's um, fault, okay? Here's Tina, dear. Run along up to your room now. Eat your supper. No toys at the dinner table, Christy. <laughs> the doll just winked at me. Tina can't wink, Daddy. Really? I thought... Never mind. Tina's made a good playmate for Christy so far. Liking a brother or sister, you mean? I didn't say that. But that's why you bought the doll, isn't it? Sort of a reminder? It hadn't occurred to me, but if that's what you want to think... It's Linda! Are you through with your dinner? Yes, Mommy. May I take Tina? Not outside. You can show her to Linda later. Eric, I'm going to take some of these dishes to the kitchen. Okay. My name is Tati Tina, and my name is Tina. My name is Eric Strater, and I'm going to get rid of you. You wouldn't take me. Oh, wouldn't I? Annabelle wouldn't take you. Christy will hate you, and I will hate you. What are you doing with that doll? Just seeing how it worked. I'll just take this match and... Boop. Ow! So you do have feelings. Doesn't everything? Then I can hurt you. Not really, but I can hurt you. Threats from a doll. <laughs> Who are you talking to? The game's over. Game? Come on, Annabelle. How dense do you think I am? I wish I knew what you were talking about. Putting a walkie-talkie in a doll. I'll bet that's how you did it, right? Walkie-talkie? Oh, stop it, will you, Annabelle? I mean, all that stuff about hating me and that last part about feelings doesn't do everything. I think you need more coffee. Linda wants to see Tina. All right, dear. You two rush Tina up to your room. My name is Taki Tina, and I love you very much. Isn't she sweet, Daddy? You can think whatever you want to, but it's not true. I'm not trying to trick you. Go ahead. Pretend. But I know there's a microphone around here. You and Christy are trying to get even with me. Isn't that it? That's ridiculous, Eric, and you know it. Is it? Then how come the doll doesn't talk to me when you're in the room? You're serious. Of course I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Keep your secret. But you'll be sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for this. The perfect place for you, little one, is in the trash. Put me down. I'm warning you. Oh, don't worry. I'll put you down. <laughs> you are going to be sorry. I wouldn't know. Go ask your mother. She's already asked me. What did you tell her? That I don't know where she is. Do you, Eric? Where is she, Daddy? Well, now, if your mother can't tell you, then neither can I. Tina must be somewhere about, Christy. Let's see if we can find her. Hello? Hi. I'm going to kill you. I better check the trash. It's gone! Where is she? She's still looking. I don't mean Christy. We haven't found the doll, if that's what you mean. That's exactly what I mean! You knew I put her in the trash can! You what? But... But she's not there now. Eric!
Nick, how could you? I've had enough of this nonsense. A joke is a joke, but you're carrying it way too far. Nick, I haven't seen the doll. I haven't seen it since dinner. I swear you're it. You're telling the truth. You didn't. You didn't take it. I didn't take it. But I think it's dreadful you're putting it there. But, but who? The phone call. What phone call? You were on the other end. No, it, it couldn't have been you. How could you have made the call so quick? Eric, what are you talking about? The phone rang. I answered it. The doll's voice was loud and clear. It said, my name is Talkie Tina, and I'm going to kill you. What? What, I lie? Eric. I don't know what to say. Well, the dolls disappeared. If it wasn't you, it had to be Christy. I don't think she would do that. She's only a little girl. I'm checking her room. Aha! There you are, in Christy's bed. I told you you'd be sorry. Shh! I'm just going to take you somewhere where you can't hurt anybody. Now shush. Or you'll wake Christy. Christy? Christy? Wake up, Christy! Daddy? Go back to sleep, honey. I just need to borrow your doll for a moment. I want my Tina. Tina belongs to me. Got her. Daddy! Now, go back to sleep. Daddy, please! What's going on? The doll was in her bed. She's the one who's been doing it. I'll just take you apart in my garage. Then what will you say? Ha! You'll die. You'll die. I'll just stick your head into this vice here and tighten. <sighs> just like that. Doesn't that hurt? I can stand it if you can. I thought you said you had feelings. Fine. If I can't pop your head off, I guess I'll have to saw it off. Eric! Eric, what are you doing? What I have to do. Eric, don't! Leave me alone! Fine! Not a mark on that pretty little head. I'll just have to bag you up and set you in the trash can. I'll just weigh you down like so. Now you can't bother anybody. Annabelle, why are you packing? How can I live with you after what you've done? I, I had to. The doll. No, you had to. To show your hatred towards me and Christy. Now look, Annabelle. That doll talked to me. That doll said things that no doll should say. I had to get rid of it. You've become a stranger to me, Eric. A sick, neurotic stranger. You're filled with blind, and reasonable hate. You better see a good psychiatrist. Tell him you tried to kill a doll. I... I couldn't even destroy it. So what did you do with it? I'll give it back. I'll give it back to Christy. Will that solve things? I don't know, Eric. My name is Dr. Tina, and I don't forgive you. Shut up. I'm putting you back into bed with Christy. What more do you want? Get back into bed, honey. What? What is it? I thought I heard something. Just stay there. I'll check it out. I hear you, Tina. Go on. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get back to bed with Christy. <laughs> All right, Tina. That's enough. Oopsie. Oh, oh, so oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Eric. Eric. Oh, no. You've fallen down the stairs. Eric. Are you okay? 
the doll? My name is Taki Tina, and you better be nice to me. Of course, we all know that dolls cannot talk. And they certainly can't commit murder. But to a child caught in the middle of turmoil and conflict, a doll can become many things. A friend, defender, guardian. Especially a doll like Talkie Tina, who did talk and did commit murder in the misty region of the Twilight Zone.